In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a voice AI agent in five minutes. That's right. We're going to build this no code voice AI agent dental receptionist in just five minutes. Even if you have never built an AI agent or you've never experienced with AI, this will be a super simple video. So all you have to do is just follow along and I'm going to give you all of the resources completely for free. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'm also going to show you how you can build more complex voice AI agent, how to get certified as a voice AI agent expert. So that way you can start selling this to your local business. All right, without any further delay, let's jump right in. All right, so let's go ahead and start with a quick demo. Again, don't worry about any of this right now. I'm going to show you step by step what to do, but I'm going to go ahead and start with a quick demo and then we're going to go ahead and uh, build this thing out. So if I'm in this retail AI dashboard, which I'm going to explain a little bit how to get here. I'm just going to click on test step. So what this is going to do is this is basically going to answer frequently asked questions from a dental office. And then if it gets stuck anywhere or if the customer gets frustrated, it's going to transfer the call to an actual human. Obviously, we're not going to test the transfer call function, but it will, I'll show you how when, when a customer gets frustrated, it's able to transfer that call. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to click on test uh, agent here. Thank you for calling Tice Valley Dental. How can I help you today? Hey, um, I wanted to see if you guys take uh, any new patients. Yes, we are currently accepting new patients. Would you like me to connect you with our team to schedule an appointment? Um, yeah, but before that, um, are you guys open on Saturdays? Because I want to make an appointment on Saturday. We're open Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Let me connect you with our team to book a Saturday appointment now. Uh, actually, one more question uh, before I make an appointment. Do you guys mm -hmm. take, uh, I want to make sure that you accept my insurance. What, what insurance do you accept? We accept most major providers, including Delta Dental, MetLife, Cigna, Aetna, and Blue Cross Blue Shield. If your plan isn't on that list, I can connect you with our front desk to confirm your coverage. Yeah, Would you this... like me to transfer you now to schedule your Saturday appointment and verify insurance? Um, no, that's fine. That's okay. I can call back. Um, what's your address, by the way? We are located at 123 Main Street, Walnut Creek, California. Thanks again for calling Tice Valley Dental. Have a great day. Thank you. All right. So as you saw, again, that was a very simple interaction, but it has the ability to use these transfer call function and end call function. The transfer call function, essentially, that's why I kept saying, should I transfer you to a human to make an appointment? And this uses a phone number that you can put any phone number in here and it will transfer the call to a human. Again, this is a very simple solution. But again, at the end, I'm going to show you how you can like even add a function for appointment booking down the line. All right. So let's go ahead and build this thing out. First things first, you need to head over to retailai.com. This is a no code solution or a no code a voice AI builder. They're probably the best uh, in the market right now. So once you go ahead, uh, create an account, they give you a free account. So once you log in, you're going to come right here. Uh, this is going to be your dashboard. Obviously, the AI agents yours is going to look blank. I've built a bunch. So you're going to come here on the top right hand corner here. You're going to click on create AI agent. You're going to click on voice agent. And then this is going to bring you to these different types of agents that are available. We're going to focus on single prompt agent because we just need to build a super simple one here. So you're going to click on the single prompt AI agent or the agent here. You're going to click on select instead of selecting template, which is going to start from blank. And we're going to click on create. Once you click on create, this is going to automatically select all these different options that are available out there. The only thing I'm going to change is I'm just going to use GPT-5 instead of GPT-4.1 because GPT-5 is the new uh, model in the market and it works really, really well. I'm also going to select fast here because it's going to be a lot better when it comes to the interaction with the voice agent because it reduces the latency and it's going to be very natural. All right. So the universal prompt, whoops, the universal prompt, this is what basically all of the guidelines and instructions that we give to this particular voice agent. So I've put together already a voice agent uh, prompt already. So all you have to do is go to the link in the description. This is a AI workshop light free community. You're going to click on that. You're going to come right here to the classroom section. You're going to go to YouTube resources in the bottom. You're going to come to build a voice AI agent in five minutes. And this is the entire prompt that you can literally copy and paste. Again, this is completely for free. So you don't have to worry about uh, paying for anything. I'm just going to click on this and copy this. 
and then I'm gonna come back here and paste this. So let's go ahead and see what this prompt is doing. So initially we were uh, giving this voice agent or this voice assistant an identity, right? So I'm saying is your name is Katie, your role is an inbound reception assistant for Ties Valley Dental, which is just like a random dental office. You're friendly, your objective is to pro provide quick answers to frequently asked questions, check accepted insurance and transfer the call politely. We're giving it a guideline, we're telling it, hey, keep this very simple, speak clearly, be friendly, uh, stick to what you know, and if you don't know the answer, then call use this transfer call, uh, call function. All right, so what are functions? Functions basically gives the voice agents the ability to call external tools, right? So on the right-hand side, at the top in the middle, it says functions right here. So we're gonna click on the functions, you're gonna click on add, and you're gonna uh, click all call transfer right here, because that's what we called, right? So everything, you're literally gonna leave everything as it is here. The only thing you want to change is just the number here. So if you have a particular number that you want this to transfer to, you're just gonna change that number. So it could be your personal phone number. Everything else you're gonna leave as it is. Don't worry about anything else. You're gonna click on save. And now you have this transfer function call that you have access to. And this is, we wanna make sure that this matches the name of the function right here, because obviously we're calling that function for them from within the voice agent prompt here, right? So the frequently asked questions that Katie can answer, we're giving it the office location, we're giving it the office hours, whether we're accepting new patients, and then also what are the different insurances that this is able to accept. So you can put a bunch of other stuff in there so that when you know exactly when you're testing it, uh, it will give that particular uh, answer. And like, like I said, if we say that uh, we're telling it that if insurance isn't listed here, transfer to the front desk team to confirm using the transfer call. Same thing, it's gonna use that call to transfer that information or transfer that call to the uh, customer service department, let's say. All right, so afterwards, we're just giving it a step-by-step -step instruction on how to handle the call. So initially, we're saying that this is what you need to do. You need to greet the customer and say, thank you for calling Tats Valley Delta. How can I help you? These are the frequently asked questions. And then also, we're putting this uh, another condition here that if the cons if the customer is toxic or they're angry, right, you're going to use this transfer call again. And this is a great way to kind of test this agent. So try testing this out, maybe start like, you know, acting uh, a little bit of, you know, being a jerk or toxic or just be angry. And you'll see it works really, really well, because it's able to identify and understand the tone of the customer's voice. And it'll be able to understand, okay, this customer is getting really angry, let me tell it to transfer very politely to the customer using this transfer call again. So same thing. And at the end, we're saying, wrap up if the conversation is complete, you're just going to say thank you for calling Ties Valley Dental, have a great day. And we're going to call this end call. This is another function now. So we're going to go back to the functions here, click on add, we're going to click on end call. The great thing is, it's a very simple function, you don't have to do anything, you're just going to click on save. So this is going to now add that end call. This is important because obviously, you don't want this call to go forever, right? So that's literally all you need for the prompt here, you're going to click on save. Now you have this uh, prompt all done here. And you can always test it on the right hand side here. So that's literally all you need on the top, everything else is kind of like settings like the voice, you always have access to this. And I and then also the different settings and uh, different latency that you can do. And all this other stuff right here, these are more complex, if you want to build more complex voice agent, because the retail AI is a very powerful platform, and you can build really complex voice AI agents here. And by the way, if you're interested, in building more complex agents, you can join the paid community, the AI workshop paid community. I'm going to put the link in the description. You can go to the classroom section. I have an entire course, like step by step course, on all of these different. Uh, I give an introduction on all of these different settings, the knowledge based speech settings, and build really, really powerful voice agents here, including kind of an introduction for complete beginners on how these different uh, voice agents work, how you can buy a phone number. And then most importantly, I have and step-by-step -step tutorials on how you can build like inbound, outbound voice agents for actual customers that you can sell, including all of the information that you need. Uh, so that way you can build this out and sell it. And again, same thing. Uh, you can also utilize our certification program. We have an exclusive partnership with Retail AI that once you go through this course and complete everything, we can actually certify you so that way you can uh, build this out for customers. And then we also have a AI agency course where we provide you a step-by-step -step guide on how to start your AI agency, especially for voice agents, so you can sell this to customers, how to price these and everything else you need. So make sure you check out the community. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hopefully you just found this video helpful and it wasn't too long. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you inside the community. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.